Hey you buddies, Mr. Pugly here coming at you in another Borderland 3 video. Today I want to show you the black market location and every single item that's inside. After I show you the location, of course we're going to go over to Sanctuary and showcase what each and every single weapon can do. But before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch on the top right. You have no idea how much helps me out. And let's get into it. Legendary? Whoa! No way! First things first, the location of the black market machine is going to be on Promethea and it's going to be on the Meridian Metroplex. Now the Meridian Metroplex only has one fast travel location to go to, so it's very easy. And the actual location of the machine is just right over here, right about here. So it only takes a few seconds to actually get to, but let's actually start heading over that way. So I just need to spawn a vehicle and it only takes about like 10 seconds to actually get to. We just take an immediate sharp left and the items in here are really, really good. So I'm really excited to show you this week it's very exciting so you see right up there you can clearly see right up there it's very visible it's very easy to get to just like i said it might have been even shorter than 10 seconds but once again i'm going to zoom out on the map and it is right here so the items inside the machine are going to be the light show which is the phenomenal pistol this is one of my favorite pistols to use on Moe's. it is a great pistol you can use on any character it's very ammo efficient and deals tons and tons of damage and then we have the recursion now the recursion used to be a lot better earlier meta like when the game first came out but it has fallen out of grace but it is still a fun gun to play around with it is definitely fun to play with mobbing it's not so great bossing i'll say that but then the final weapon here is going Going to be the nemesis which is a pistol that doesn't get talked about often it's a pretty decent doll pistol it's very straightforward it doesn't have any fun effects honestly but it does a decent amount of damage it has almost pinpoint accuracy which is very very cool that's how our sanctuary so we can test every single weapon so first things first let's talk about the nemesis now the nemesis is a very good doll pistol it has max damage of 30k and it can only come in just two elements which is a bit peculiar but it can only come in fire and corrosive. This gun has been buffed two times in the past, once for 60% more and another for 37.5% more. And it can only come in three round bursts or semi-autos. So as you see right here, it's the burst fire right there. It shoots three bullets in a row real quick like that. It is my preferred firing mode with this particular weapon just because I feel like I can't click fast enough for the next mode, which is going to be semi-auto. So semi-auto, you have to click as fast as possible. I'm sure if you had like an auto clicker, you'd be able to click faster than the burst fire. But I feel like with the burst fire, I can click a lot quicker and get them all out. Of course, both of these are unfortunately not automatic. If there is an automatic version of the Nemesis, I'm sure it'd be talked about a little bit more. The only unfortunate thing is it doesn't have necessarily any cool gimmicks besides that when you shoot the bullet, you'll randomly deal shock damage instead of the normal damage that you'd be dealing. So you see right here, as I shoot it, you'll occasionally see just random periods of shock, which is cool. Now, as far as I'm aware, the random shock isn't any extra damage than you would be dealing normally. It's just baseline a different element. So it is nice to have this particular weapon being able to deal two different elemental types at once. Having a fire one allows you to do fire and shock at the same time, which is invaluable when doing a Malawan takedown or just randomly going about your day. Not only do I feel like fire is one of the most important elements since most targets are flesh, the shock random damage is very useful when you come across a shielded target, but it doesn't do you any favors if for suddenly all your damage gets transformed into shock because then you'll just be dealing randomly less damage to targets that don't take more damage or shock. So that's the only downside of the weapon, but it has amazing accuracy and there's not much else to really talk about with this weapon. I might try my best with speed killing Grey War with this weapon. I haven't honestly tried that but we'll definitely try that today just because we have the weapon with us. Next weapon is going to be the Light Show. And the Light Show is one of my favorite pistols in the game. I remember the first couple of times when I was initially getting into building in the game, I decided to go with mainly Moe's because I really enjoyed grenades and people were always talking about how the Light Show is good. And I just think that the Light Show pairs with Moe's perfectly. This one can spawn in every single element. So that's Fire, Shock, Corrosive, cryo radiation and kinetic it can only come with list projectiles of four but when you shoot the four projectiles it's only going to cost you one ammo which is very very nice so it's very ammo efficient max damage for cryo is going to be 30k fire shock and corrosive should be around 29k and radiation should be around 28k so while you're firing this weapon you'll notice that it will shoot in kind of a square or a rotating circle area so unfortunately if you are far away, you won't actually hit the target. So you do have to get a little bit close, but let me show you real quick. As I shoot this guy, look at my ammo count on the bottom right. You'll notice that it only slowly goes down. So I'm just able to get 
be, I'm just able to just shoot this thing forever. It's awesome. So it's very, very ammo efficient just because you are going to get means of destruction proccing on mode. You'll have redistribution. You'll just get a bunch of different things going for you to allow you to just shoot for a very long time. So it's very, very nice gun. There's not much really talk about this weapon. It's just an extremely powerful gun. I'll definitely show myself speed killing Grey with this gun because it is just so good. And then finally, let's talk about the recursion. Now the recursion is a very cool gun. Basically, Basically, when you shoot it, you'll see a disc that flies out of the gun, but I'll show that in a few moments. First things first, it can come in fire, shock, corrosive, cryo, and radiation. Because it's a Malawan, it can spawn with two different particular elements, which is very, very nice. And the list projectiles can be one to two. Every time you shoot it, it's going to cost a couple of ammo per shot, but it's worth it because when there's multiple enemies around, it deals really, really good damage. This gun is able to deal splash damage, so you are able to, of course, get a splash annoyment on this weapon as well. As you see right here, this one has a splash annoyment. The only weird thing with this gun is that when the splash damage happens, it cannot proc means of destruction on Moe's, which might be a bug that might be intentional, but either way, you can't proc means of destruction with this particular gun, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's okay. As you see here, when you toss it out, there'll be discs that fly around and they're very, very nice. These discs can actually ricochet up to seven times to different enemies. Sometimes they won't quite ricochet to a target properly and they will just hit a wall and then just disappear. But the chance of having it ricochet up to seven times is what makes this gun so good. It used to only be able to ricochet up to five times, so it was slightly buffed. But let's go over to Athena so you can actually see the ricochet action in full effect. And I forgot to mention the max damage of the recursion is going to be the 36k for two times projectiles. But if you have a single projectile, it's going to be max damage of 54k. Funny thing about Malawan weapons, when they can toggle between elements, most of the time they are the same card damage for max damage. So all the max damage for every single element is the same as you see here, 36k for times two and 54k for times one. So I'm going to try my best to show the, the ricocheting effect in action. So I'm not going to activate any Iron Bear stuff. So I'm just going to send out the discs out and then you'll see them ricochet to multiple enemies. The guy in front of that dude and behind him died all at once, which is very, very nice. So I'm going to send another disc to that dude. It bounced between the two and it killed the one dude. But when there's only one enemy, you'll notice that the damage falters just a tiny bit. So this gun is definitely best to use when in a crowd. So I'm going to send that out and you'll just see that was a perfect example. It, it destroyed all four enemies in front of us and kept ricocheting between them and just killed all the enemies around. So that was awesome. So there's another great example that hit that guy, went over to another guy. It just, this gun is great for mobbing, but nothing else. Like, if you try to go to like bossing and try to deal tons and tons of damage, you won't have as much success as you would see at right here because all the damage really does come from a ricocheting to multiple enemies. So definitely this gun is a great mobbing gun, but it doesn't really do much else. And then let's head over to Grey Ward so we can test out the Nemesis pistol against him and the Light Show pistol. So I'm going to do the same setup as normal. I'm testing the Nemesis first. So I'm going to debuff the boss, enter exit Iron Bear. I'm going to activate Elemental Projector on ourselves, and then we're going to lace into the boss. As you see here, the damage is really, really decent. The, in general, I think this gun is very, very good. It just doesn't really have anything going for it that other other pistols don't already do. It definitely deals a lot of damage. It's just not gimmicky enough to warrant widespread use or just powerful enough to see widespread use. It's a really good pistol that does pistol-like things. So if you want a just a fun pistol that just does a lot of damage, very pinpoint accuracy, definitely pick up the Nemesis. And while we're here, I'm just noticing, <laughs> you notice that the front of the barrel is glowing, which is something that you see when you're doing amps. So you see right here, my light show is also glowing. Here, this gun is also glowing. That's because I have an amp shot ready. But you notice that my Nemesis is actually a fire pistol, but it is glowing green as if it's a corrosive. So that's a little fun little glitch right there. I'm not sure if that's intentional. It might be intentional, but that's a fun little flavor thing if you want to consider it. <laughs> I think that's kind of cool personally. Now let's go test the light show real quick. Once again, I'm going to enter exit Iron Bear, going to debuff the boss a little. I'm going to exit Iron Bear and then activate Elemental Projector on ourselves. We have it all procced and I'm just going to lace it into Grave Ward right there. And that's a great example on why the light show is so good. <laughs> it just killed him in real quick. We didn't get any mind sweeps to proc. Didn't really give him a chance to really do anything. Didn't really give 
our Minesweepers a chance to even explode. So it just was great damage. Lots and lots of damage right there. Definitely pick up this gun on any character, especially if you're on Moe's. I gotta stress it. I can't stress it enough. I think this gun is perfect for Moe's. And as always, a big shout out to the members who make these videos possible. We have Jason Nules, Clairvoyant, 31 Bar 70, and Rick and Glade CS. These are the people who support me as little as $5 a month. And you can also support me as little as $5 a month by clicking the link in the comments or description or in the top right. The more members we have means the closer I get to become full time, which means more videos for you guys. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> And the last shall be First to immerse in a pass out heat Facing him up with a moxie melt Till he woke up drowning in tchotchke hell More in a cave with a torch on a wall Than a window arrangement of porcelain dolls